Habits 101. So we're talking about lifestyle this week. And as I've talked about many times in the past, the massive part of our lifestyle is our habits. Our habits are what drive the majority of our, our choices, our actions, our behaviours and results. There is research that suggests that around about 95% of our thoughts and actions on a daily basis are somewhat habitual. They just kind of happen somewhat automatically. Only about 5% of what we do is a real conscious decision. And therefore, changing our habits has massive value. But we're never really taught how to change our habits. We're just essentially told to, to try harder, just to try and keep doing that thing until it becomes a habit. We may be told that it takes 28 days or 56 days to form a habit. But as I've said many times before, that's not necessarily a thing. You know, there's certain things that we can only do monthly. So after 28 days, we might have only done it once and therefore it's not quite a habit yet. There are certain things that will never become a habit. There are certain things we can make ourselves do for the rest of our lives and they'll never become completely automatic. There are things that we'll have done at times in the past that we've done consistently for a period of time and then we've just stopped. They haven't become so embedded that we just do them forever. To a large degree, there is still an element of, of, of conscious choice but what we can do is set up our habits, either our new ones or the ones we're looking to change or stop doing, in a way that massively maximises the chance of that happening. Because again, if we just go at it from a, I'm just going to do it, I know what I need to do, I just need to do it, or if I keep doing it, it'll get easier perspective, it'll probably go the same way as it went last time, which if you're watching this video, probably didn't happen. So... In this video, I'm going to break down the four sections of what's called the habit loop. This is explained in further depth on the Learn tab on the app. There's a section called Habits there where I break down each part of the habit loop into more depth. But today, and because I've covered it many times before, I'm just going to go through what those four sections are. And then tomorrow's video, I'm going to cover how you can use those four sections to stop or change an existing habit. And then the third video on Wednesday, I'm going to cover how you can use them to create and embed a new habit somewhat. But as any time I've done this video before, all I want you to really remember from this is the names of the four parts of the habit loop. Because if you don't even remember them, I guarantee nothing will happen with it. If I were to ask you in two weeks time, what are the four sections of a habit loop, and you can't remember, this was completely pointless and a complete waste of time, and I guarantee nothing will have changed. So, the four parts of the habit loop are cue, craving, response, reward. Cue, craving, response, reward. Literally say it with me now, Q craving response reward, Q craving response reward, Q craving response reward, Q craving response reward, because if you don't remember that, again, nothing will happen. Very briefly, Q is the first step, the thing that instigates the habit. You either see something, you feel a certain way, it's a certain time of day, you're in a certain location. Craving is the desire to do the particular thing. The response is doing the actual thing and the reward is the benefit we get from it. And I'll explain in the next two days worth of videos how again we can set up a, a new habit or change an existing one or stop it by taking into account those four parts of the habit loop. But again, for now, say it with me, because if you don't remember it, completely pointless. The four sections of the habit loop are cue, craving, response and reward.